Mungoluko is one of the thousands of men, women and children who received non-food items since mid-May through UNICEF's rapid response to movements of population RMP. Clashes between DRC military and armed opposition groups in the Masisi and Ruchuru territories since April caused thousands of people to flee and find refuge in Sake, Mugunga or Kibati on the outskirts of North Kivu provincial capital Goma. UNICEF and its partners organized several distributions of essential household, personal and hygiene items for over 12,000 displaced. Zina yangu mungo luko. Hapa nilitoka mushaki tulikimbia vita. Tulikuya tukawakia kumasomo. Masomo niko mwana batoto mwanane na buwana yangu na mimi tuko batu kumi. Tunaishi tumulo masomo na shida. Zakosa chakula na nguwa za kuvala. In family relief kit distributions, the displaced receive basic items such as clothing, sleeping mats, blankets, cooking sets, and plastic sheeting for makeshift shelters. The displaced girls and women also receive what is referred to as a female hygiene kit to address menstrual hygiene needs. The kit is based on what rural women in Eastern DRC traditionally used for menstrual hygiene management and includes undergarments, strips of cotton cloth used as washable sanitary towels, and a small bucket for washing. Soap is often provided as part of the regular distributions. <laughs> Thousands of IDPs settled in Mugunga 3 IDP camp where they live in makeshift houses until they can return to their villages of origin. Muhawe Kasigwa fled from Bihambwe because of the war. In the chaos, she wasn't able to take her basic items with her or her adequate clothes and undergarments to wear in periods of menstruation. In one of the distributions held by UNICEF's RMP, she received a female hygiene kit. <laughs> Ju kwanza mbele tulikuwa hatu ya vipataka ulikuwa unaenda huko mnjia unaenda kutana mwanamke ishachafuka hayo sana pata anafika wakati yake akishachafuka hata hiyo hata msika mdogo hata msika mwanamke anafika kwa wakati akisha pita iko anapita kabisa na kusikia wanaume ndio wanaanza mvumbura semuone kwanza ule tatoto wadogo wanaanza shangara ni vitu gani vile the female hygiene kit program is seen as essential part of UNICEF's relief initiative for not only hygiene needs, but for the dignity of displaced women and girls. UNICEF ramped up delivery of the kits as a standard component in many of their humanitarian partnerships. In 2010, over 100,000 families received a female hygiene kit as part of an NFI relief kit distribution or in association with an NFI fair. Beaucoup de femmes de déplacer quand elles quittent, quand elles laissent leur habitation, elles ne prennent rien avec elles. Elles ne peuvent pas penser à, à ce genre de, 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 d'articles pour leur permettre de bien gérer leur menstruation. Alors quand elles arrivent sur le site et qu'elles reçoivent un kit d'hygiène intime, pour elles c'est vraiment un soulagement. Since 2008, the Democratic Republic of Congo has been part of a UNICEF global initiative to improve gender-sensitive response in humanitarian action. The initial field testing and expanded use of the female hygiene kit was part of this initiative. By 2011, over half of families who receive assistance in accessing essential relief items now also receive the female hygiene kits. This program is based on efforts to better understand the different needs of women, girls, boys and men in emergency situations while ensuring equal opportunities and access to assistance. 
na unakutana shee wa mama wa kukomala tunaanza kamata kinguo kilishazeeka kinaala buchafu tunafula me aiki tatakata kitakuwa tena bien tunakitumikisha ile ya kukitumikisha kinaenda tuletea tena magonjwa unakutana ndani mwetu sisi wa mama zaidi wa mukambi tulikuwa tunaenda kutania sisi wote kwa mganga ni marari moya Yes, the rapid response mechanism RMP responds to the critical humanitarian needs of hundreds of thousands of displaced people and returnees as well as of vulnerable host families and communities in the east. From January to July 2012, the RMP has responded to the NFI needs of 360,000 persons in Eastern DRC. Adding the female hygiene kits to items distributed to IDPs is a way to respond to a specific needs. IDPs themselves expressed. Les jeunes femmes déplacées qui sont dans un âge de procréation, en tout cas la plupart utilisent ces kits-là parce que pour elles ça répond à un besoin. C'est vraiment utilisé. On a essayé de parler avec beaucoup de femmes et il y en a qui n'ont pas eu le courage de nous le montrer parce que c'est déjà usé et donc cela nous a prouvé que réellement c'est utilisé. When the displays arrive on the IDP sites, they lack mats to sleep on plastic sheeting to build a makeshift house or clothes to wear. UNICEF and its partners brought them such items to allow men, women and children to address some of their basic needs during this difficult period in their temporary place of refuge until they get back to their villages.